Good morning, y'all. Okay, so I'm back on the lead track, and I'm here with Kate and Alice, and we're getting a few logs out this morning. Uh, the logs we cut the other day, and I kind of wanted to pick up where I left off with y'all, because y'all got to see me cut the tree. Now I want y'all to see me get the tree back out of the woods and on the log truck. So here's what we got going on. We got one, two logs there, and then two logs over there. Well, wait a minute three or four logs right in here i can't remember i think it's four two right there two right there two over there uh and what i want to do you know this is kind of knotty and got limbs on it and whatnot what i want to do is i want to show y'all kind of how i use my swamp hook uh, i've told y'all about that in other videos and i want to show y'all how i use it like to get chains and stuff under these logs and i want to get these out first so i can get over to them without having to go up yonder around that hill and we got the log truck it's right down in there i don't know if y'all can see it uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get these logs and come back around through there so i want to get these first and i just kind of wanted to show y'all how i use this here swamp hook deal subscribers uh and new people to the channel this is what a swamp hook looks like uh probably the most handiest tool that a that a horse logger or mule logger could could possibly own and what i use it for is to scoop stuff you know scoop the logs roll the logs whatever get a chain under you can use it for about anything you want to i guess But uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use it to uh, roll the log over where we can get a chain under. I'm probably going to roll it from right here. This will be a good place to do it. First thing I want to do is I'm going to lay my choker chain down here on the ground. So that way when they roll it, they'll roll it right over on it. Give me just a minute and we'll get the mule set up. Now my log is going to go that way, so I want to be over here out of the way, and it's also going to roll, so you got to be mindful of that. All right. Now that we, now that we whoop whoop, ain't used to me talking still. Uh, okay. So now that we've got the uh, log rolled, and right there is a chain hook. I don't know if y'all can see it. I got this camera on my head here, so I'm not no camera professional. Whoa! Uh, but swamp hook did get the log rolled, and I just I didn't really have to do that because, as y'all can see, this is naughty timber, and most of the time I just drive a grab in it and go on and not waste no time, but. I thought just for the betterment of YouTube and some of you folks out there that logs with your animals, I thought that might be a neat little thing to show you. Whoop, flies is tearing these mules up. 
uh, I thought that'd be a kind of a neat thing to show you. Now, now sometimes, you know, uh, when you got a log that's laying perpen, let's see, yeah, it'd be perpendicular to the cart, I guess you'd say. In other words, not in line with it. Uh, if you hook it up in the slots right in there, sometimes it can turn the cart over. Now this log probably wouldn't, but I just kind of wanted to show you all this just for the sake of it. So I've got this little chain right here hooked under the bottom uh, that's underneath the tongue and it pulls from the bottom of the cart. It's underneath the center of gravity, which keeps the cart right side up for the most part. So let's, dr log, uh, let's drag this log around and get it squared and then we'll hitch it and go on. All right, Kate, Alice. Easy, easy. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Whoa. All right, now I've got it up here where I can kind of get a little better hook onto it and it'll it'll work out better. Whoa. Whoa. Now let's see if I can get this where y'all can see it. Hopefully y'all can see it. Uh oh my hook is I've got a little jacked up. Alright. Whoa. Every time you get to a place, see like where I come out of was a little old bottom there and it's uneven and whatnot. Well, your logs won't, they won't get rolled up just right like you want them. Now that I'm up here on this flat, I'm gonna back them up a little. Back. Whoa. Uh, and then I'm gonna shorten my chain up. Now you wouldn't think that a few lengths would make a big difference. But it does. All right, Kate. See, it picks that log up off the ground a little bit more. And every time, I mean, every inch that you can whoop and haul, uh, every inch that you can get that log picked up, the better off you are. This is some poplar that we've been cutting and it's kind of naughty. It ain't the it ain't the best in the world. But we'll take it. It'll do. You little. Whoa. Now the way I stayed my log for this side loader truck. I put my eights and what I like to do is put eights and tens in one pile, twelves and fourteens in a pile. Uh, these are twelves and tens. Uh, I needed a couple small logs going to log tr truck first, so I drug them tens up here. But then I've got these twelves, and of course that in there's got a limb I didn't get cut off, so I'm gonna have to get chainsaw here in a minute and cut it off. But it's kind of like feeding a magazine in a gun. Uh, you just drag your logs up here until you get, you know, I got a little bit more room, not much, but. I'm gonna have to start loading logs probably on the next couple drags uh, to get my loading area cleaned up. But what I can do is, is I can load a couple logs, then move the truck over this way and load a couple more logs and then I can move the truck back. You know, and we just keep working it that way. All right, let's unhook this log and we'll go back and get another one. Stand up a little, Kate, Alice, Kate. Whoop, whoop, whoop. First, whoop, first thing I do is I let out some slack on my chain so that way they can get up out of the way. All right, Kate, a little bit. A little bit, Alice. Whoop. Now I've got them up out of the way here. Maybe y'all can see what I'm doing. I hope so. Now I've got my chain unhooked. I'll just let them pull it out from under it. All right, Kate. Whoop. Now they've done this enough. They just about know kind of. Whoa. Whoa. 
they know about what the routine is. They pretty well got a grasp on it. They know when I'm going. They know when I unhook them, and they know when I hook them, and and all that good stuff. Stand up. Whoop. Whoop. Wallet GK. Wallet GK. Yep. GK. Yep. This is what how I talk to them when I want them to turn right around. I just want them to pivot. I call my off mule Alice, tell her whoa, and I tell my lead mule Kate, I tell her G. All right. And then when I want them to go straight, I tell them all right. And y'all, they're three-year-old mules, and we've been working together a pretty good while. They pulled somewhere around 60,000 feet of timber so far, and they're doing right nice, but you know, they still haven't learned all the ins and outs yet, and they will. Just take them a little time. Uh, but y'all, they get real smart about this stuff. These animals do. Horses and mules both. They get real smart about, you know, if they get hung on a stump, while they'll swing sideways and pull your log off a stump and go on, they'll do it all on their own. You know, they know when you're hooking them, and they know when to get tight, and, and then they know when you're just wanting a little bit. You know, they, they learn all that. They're like us. It just takes some time. <clears throat> now, on these short skids like this, I just walk behind the cart. Because for me, it's not productive to get on and off the cart and whatnot. It's better just to stay on the ground and get the logs hooked and then go. Now, I'm going to cut them right around. Oh, Alice, do you okay? Oh, Alice, do you okay? Yep. Oh, Alice, do you okay? Yep. 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 Well, it's yeeky. Now back. See, they've learned that too. They've learned it. You know, I'm gonna ask them the back so they kind of anticipate it. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it ain't because they'll go to doing stuff without you asking them to. And sometimes that's aggravating. You have to scold them a little let me move my gas jugs here this gas jug and my glasses Whew. all right now i think we can get a chain under this one without having to do anything so you well, it's you, Kate. Stand up. You. Whoa. Now, whoa. Whoa. Stand up a little. Just a little. Whoa. Stand up a little. A little bit. Whoa. I don't like getting them real close to the log whenever I'm hooking the chain up because sometimes they can move. Whoa. They can move on you and, well, it's just it's just not a good thing it can get you in a bind if you ain't careful all right yeah i was able to get that one under there without doing a small hook trick but if i had to i would got to get my hook turned around there have it facing the wrong way you always want the opening toward the back whoa come here back up back up whoa now now i don't mind them getting close to me and like see how i'm fairly straight on this log i mean i ain't straight but you know what i'm saying i mean i ain't at no 90 degree angle so I don't mind hooking it in the in the chain slot. All right, Kate, a little bit. Whoa! Oh, well, Kate, hi, Alice. Oh, 
Whoop. Oh, oh, oh. Now come up. See, I told y'all they learn this and they'll about do it on their own. See what I mean? See how smart they get, y'all? Whoa. 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 Now I kind of had to kind of had to raise my voice enough where they could hear me. That cart makes a lot of racket. But look at these trees, y'all. Look how they went between these trees. They went all on their own. And uh, in some cases, when you're crossing a ditch or a creek or something, it's real handy to have a pair of mules that you can just turn loose and let them do it on their own. And it's also a safety thing, too, because you tell them, oh, they'll stop. All right. Okay, Alice. Now. Little bit. Whoop. Now, I'm gonna let the chain out. And this is, well, I do this every time, y'all, so they get used to it. Little bit, Kate. Little bit. Whoa. Stand up a little, just a little. Kate, stand up a little. Whoop. Now that gets them away from me while I'm unhooking that chain. Now I'm gonna let them pull it out from under. Okay, Alice. Whoop. And they're used to this. I mean, they they know that's what I'm gonna ask them to do because we do it this way every single time. So it's easy for your animals to learn. And whoop, turn up. Whoop. And whoa, Alice. Okay. Well, you can. Yep. 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 All right. You know, what? You, if you do things the same way all the time, uh, they pick up on that routine and they just know, you know. Uh, I've heard Granddaddy talk about you know, a long time ago, of course, they worked their mules every single day. And when you work an animal every day, it's, they get as smart as we do about this stuff. Uh, but I've heard Granddaddy talk about having mules that would, you know, they would go to the truck by themselves. And this pair of mules here would too. They know what that truck is because they know when they get, get to the truck, they're going to get a break. And after you've got a trail made, you know, they know the way back. And see, these are short skids. This is one good thing about having an old side loader truck is you can pretty well get in here close to your timber and get it out, you know, without having long skids. And I don't care whether you're driving a skidder or whether you're driving a pair of mules, long skids just eat up time. Whoop. Well, it's UK. Well, it's UK. Yep. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Easy. Easy. Whoop. All right, now back. Back. Now see, they know. They already put it in gear whenever I, when I tell them, whoa, they'll already go ahead and put themselves in gear to back up. Because they just know. Back. Whoop. That's good. Whoop. Whoa. I ain't gonna waste no time on this one. I'm just gonna drive a grab in it and be done with it. Now, y'all see how that went in there? I'll 
I'll show you how to get it out and get up here at the landing. And then I just take my chain, run through that. Whoop! You gotta have a steady team, y'all. Cause uh, you got a team that wants to run on you every time you turn around, they'll, they'll get your hand. And that's something you gotta be mindful of when you're doing this kind of work. You gotta be ready to get out of the way. All right, Kate, Harris, right, a little bit. Whoa! And see how naughty this is? It's got limbs on the bottom all hung up and crap. So it's gonna be harder to pull, but that's all right. We'll get the limbs off when we get up here into landing. I go. Back it. Back. Whoa. Get the slack took out of it. All right. Now they know when they're hooked to something heavy because they'll hit it a little harder. Whoa. Now with all these limbs on here, I got to be sort of careful. So I'm gonna get on this side while we're going through this little old deal here. And maybe it won't get me fouled up. You always wanna be on the uphill side of a log cause that log could roll, you know. All right, them flies tearing you up, ain't they, Ellie? I put some of my fly spray on this morning, but uh, it's, it's been a few hours, so I believe they Whoop! Uh oh, grab come out. That'll happen, especially if you ain't got it on top. And with these limbs, whoop! With these limbs being on there like the hell, that's what caused that. Whoop! So we'll just take it and we'll drag. We'll drive it back in here, right on top, right here. You little, all right. You little, I'm gonna put this one over here kind of to itself. That way I can get these nasty limbs off of it. And haul a little. All right. Whoa. I'll just leave it right here for now. And that way we can get the limbs off. All right. That's how you get it out. You take that point and just pop it right there and the, right there at it and it'll, it'll come right out. Now I want to cut them hard to the left, so I'm gonna say, whoa, Kate. Oh, Alice. Whoa, Kate. Oh, Alice. Now, oh, whoop, whoop. I don't want them walking forward. I just want them pivoting to the left. Stand up, haw. Oh. Stand up, haw. Oh. Whoa, Kate. Oh, Alice. Whoa, oh, Kate. Oh, Alice. Oh, oh. Oh, all right. Darn old flies are aggravating. And I will tell you this. I have noticed that flies bother a black animal, horse or mule. Flies seem to bother a black animal more than they do a sorrel colored animal or lighter colored animal. I don't know, I guess it's just that color. <clears throat> I hope y'all are enjoying this and are able to Kind of get a better idea about mule logging. You little, you little. I wanted to take y'all along for the whole drag so y'all could see, you know, get an idea of what it is we're actually doing. We're gonna have to load them logs up there here in a minute. All right. 
Easy. Easy. Yep. 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 Whoop. Whoop. Back up. Back up. Yep. Oh, that do. Get out of there. You can't eat that. Back up. Oh, get up a hill a little. Oh, stand up. Whoop. Whoa. All right, that right there will do for now. All right. And like I say, y'all, I'm not going to fool with trying to get a chain under this thing because it's just a naughty popper and it ain't going to bring much. And there ain't no point in putting a whole lot of extra labor in it when it ain't gonna bring nothing. I mean, when I say nothing, I mean popper right now in our area for number number two is bringing, oh, quit doing that. Number two popper is bringing 40, 45 cent a foot. It ain't much. So there ain't no point in putting all that extra labor in it. Oh, Alice GK. All right. A little bit. Whoa. Now I'm going to square them up. You little. Yep. Whoa. Now back. Whoa, whoa, square them up. Shorten the chain up as short as I can get it. And this log ain't much to it. I mean, this is a, it barely made a log. Uh, It ain't much to it, but you know, they can pull this thing just easy along. All right, okay, Alice. Which now, whoa. In my opinion, y'all, uh, you don't want to be pulling them hard every time. You know, you don't want to pull them hard every time. All right, Kate, Alice. Because, you know, it, it kind of, well, it kind of spoils them just a little. And at the same time, you know, you're wearing them out. Uh, it's best to, you know, pull hard when they need to. And when you can avoid it, avoid it. They need to know how to pull hard, but not every single pull. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. You just don't want them up against it every single pull. That'd get tiresome for anybody. So pulling these little small light logs is easy for them and won't be too much work on them. Whoop. Now, whoop, stand up a little, just a little. Okay, whoop, whoop. Stand up a little now. Stand up. Whoa. I gotta get my chain loose here. Stand up. Okay, Alice. Whoa. Man. He's a picking at them daggum flies. I don't like it. Okay, haw, Alice. Okay, haw, Alice. Oh, now I'm gonna turn them around. Carry them over here and put them in the shade. And let them have a break for just a little bit while I load these logs and make our landing a little cleaner. All right, guys. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and stop this video right here for now. Uh, I've got some more footage on loading the logs on the truck, but I wanted to break it up into two separate videos. I wanted to do one video on getting the logs out with the mules and kind of some techniques, I guess you could call it, that we use on getting the logs out with the mules. And then I want to make another video of the truck 
and dedicate it to the truck, showing loading the logs, uh, how we bind them down for safety purposes, particular to a side loader truck. And then I want to take y'all with me to the mill and dump the logs off and let y'all see what it looks like when they come off. Uh, so anyway, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video and thank y'all for watching and for everything you do for us. Hope y'all have a great weekend.